under the open education resource creation activity of ICT course I am from RC1130 team 007 member Pradeep Patil we are creating flipped classroom videos under this the topic we have selected is electronic instrument specifically digital multimeter this is bent for the course electronic instruments and measurement and meant for second year electronics engineering students so we are making video so this is the video from Pradeep Patil so course I have selected the screencast omatic I am using and under the topic so subtopic is need and advantage of electronic measurement so this is introduction for that lecture with this topic the learning objectives are the student should understand the concept of electronic instruments student should understand the concept of related points understanding advantages of it and this is considered with the Bloom's cognitive level understanding level and the recall level so we are using nowadays electronic measurement system as compared with the mechanical system pneumatic measurement system and other one so there are some advantages with the electronic measurement system so as the electronic measurement systems are having the advantages that as a first one is uh, we are using the transducer there so transducer will convert any physical parameter into electrical quantity and that electrical quantity will be then displayed there or measured with the help of meter reading so this transducer will provide or give the electrical signal so that means in an information carrier or carriers are electrons so these electrons are having the high acceleration so something like in the range 10 raised to plus 23 so as compared with the mechanical or pneumatic hydraulic measurement system so electronic measurement system having the high acceleration or the large acceleration so quick response will be there the second advantage point is electrical signal can be amplified multiplex filtered measured easily so that means that electrical signal given by the transducer is undergoing the mathematical operations easily so that is not possible easily in hydraulic pneumatic mechanical measurement system now as that electrical signal is the transducer output that can be converted further into digital one so that that electronic measurement system is a digital one then that electrical signal can be transmitted over a long distance with the help of wires or the radio links then many measurements can be carried out simultaneously and then finally this electronic measurement system is having the high sensitivity low power consumption high reliability as compared with your pneumatic mechanical hydraulic measurement systems so with the electronic measurement system the block diagram is like this the first block is a transducer then signal processing block normally we are calling that as a signal conditioning block so transducer will convert one form of energy into the another form of energy normally it is electrical one and then that electrical signal is conditioned so that means it will be amplified rectified filtered like that and then it is given for the indication or the meter or the reading so the same block diagram can be further broadened as the data conditioning element or the signal conditioning element is divided into two so that as a variable conversion element so transducer is there 
but transducer output is a electrical signal now that electrical signal as it is we are not using maybe it will be amplified rectified filtered like that so operations are carried out so it will be the conversion element with the help of that then that signal is further manipulated so manipulated that means it the particular amplitude is achieved so peak voltage like that so this will be achieved by that manipulation element then the signal will be transmitted through the data transmission element to the meter or to the observer 